We've got a big idea we want to share with you. We can't wait to tell you, but you might think we're crazy. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. Well, these really are exciting times. Oh my gosh. Cannot wait to, <laughs> to share our idea with you. Um, if you don't know, Paul and I are full-time RVers. We've been on the road over three years. And we have become e-bike ambassadors, haven't we? Yes, we certainly have. Yeah, our number one video is um, e-bike shopping video, uh, where we go into the things that you need to be aware of when you're shopping for your first e-bike. Yeah, and every time we're in a campground, you know, people will come up and they want to look at our e-bikes. And we've mm -hmm. heard from people that have bought e-bikes because of us. And, you know, so that ties in with the fact that we have never done a meetup. So we're planning something that we have named what? The Amazing Ride Across America. <laughs> So either we're crazy <laughs> or this will really happen. So we want to let you know that this is an idea. This is actually not planned out, but what are yeah, we thinking? Yeah, I mean, we're just, at this point, we're just kind of trying to flesh this thing out. So we're thinking of going from San Diego to Jacksonville or St. Augustine. It's how mm -hmm. many miles? 2,800, just under, uh, probably, I'm sure we'll get lost, so it'll probably be around 3,000 by the time we're done. The amazing Ride Across America goes through some major areas where you can meet us. So that's one key part of this. Um, we're going to go uh, start in San Diego. We would go through Phoenix, El Paso, Mobile, um, Austin. That's <laughs> not in that yeah, you're, order. You're backing up. Yeah, yeah. not in that order. Yeah. So I know that um, one of the questions you have is, you know, are we going to tent every night? And the short answer is no. <laughs> and the long answer is no. Um, we're not tent campers, but primarily we're going to be carrying a lot of stuff because I want to video this and show you guys. We're going to do videos probably more than once a week. It seems like we'd have to do at least a couple videos a week to kind of show you how it's, how it's going and what we're going through. And, you know... To do that, that involves cameras and the drone and charging all that and batteries and the laptop. So there's no way we can tent. No, no, there really isn't. We're going to have to have a, a place to stay every night and, and charge the batteries, charge our batteries. You yeah, know. and we won't be bringing the camper either. We'll store the camper and stay in a hotel or a motel. It depends on where we're at in the in the along the route but i'm thinking that our our average mileage for the day is going to be somewhere around 70 75 there probably will be some longer days in there when we're crossing you know from san diego to phoenix that's that's a long stretch of desert <laughs> yeah. so i have a feeling that that <laughs> those are going to be some long days hopefully we'll keep it under 100 miles yeah, and we're going to, you know, plan days off so that we can meet you and that we can rest and that kind of thing. Um, and we want to allow enough time, you know, to do it so that we don't feel rushed. You probably remember that I recently had surgery on my back, so I'm not up for it soon, but we're thinking, you know, maybe like a year from now, right? The beginning of 2023 or maybe the end of 2022, somewhere around there. We don't know how long it's going to take to put all this in place. You, we've got to consider weather. You know, we don't want to do it in the middle of summer because, you know, going across the desert, it, it could be in the hundred and teens. And Texas, too, would be really hot in the summer. Yeah, yeah, and just, uh, you know, I'm just not up for that. It's, uh, it's I'm, I, I don't want to die out there. <laughs> you can follow along on the videos we make. We're going to be cranking out a lot of videos. Mm -hmm. I have Strava. We have a Strava account, and um, so I'll be logging the rides on that and explain what Strava is Strava for those of you who don't know is is a an app that runners and bikers and hikers and they, lots of people use it to track their activity and you can see the actual route that somebody has taken you can their, see the elevation the speed the speed everything when we do this, we're figuring I'll be 60. I turn 60 in October of this year. Yeah, I'll be 73 at the end of the year. So a 60-year-old and a 73-year-old, we both have a biking background. Paul does especially. Um, we know on e-bikes that we can bike, you know, 40-mile days are not a problem. So we'll have to build up to these 50, 60-mile days. It's the first yeah. time I'm hearing 75, so I don't know. <laughs> I may be, I may be yeah. done at 60. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, 40 miles is really just a walk in the park for us. In perfect conditions, we're riding 20 miles an hour on a bike path. Now, we know we're going to be doing a lot of riding. Most of the riding is going to be on roads. We're going to be with traffic. We're going to be wayfaring, you know, directions and that kind of thing. We have to logistically figure this out because of if we're not going to be carrying our stuff, we've got to figure out how our stuff is going to get from A to B. Yeah, we're going to have to have a support van or something to go with us on this thing and, you know, not to travel at 20 miles an hour with us. You know, we're going to start here, meet us there and, and a couple in a few hours and and regroup and, and see what we do from there. Right. You know, that would have our luggage in there. But we're also thinking that we each would need an entirely spare backup bike, right? Oh, yeah. We'll have to have spare parts, spare wheels. Spare, well, not wheels so much. Tires and tubes and, you know, basic tools, probably a a couple of chains and my bike that was stolen had over 3,000 miles on it with with uh, one chain replacement in that amount of time so you know there might be a there's a chance that we would have to replace the chain somewhere along the route and I'm sure there's going to be challenges I mean you know we're going to have weather issues you know we have been biking in mostly perfect conditions because we're like oh the weather looks nice let's go out and bike planning this out which we like I said we're in the early early stages you know has got to allow time for is the weather not conducive to biking i've ridden in the rain a few times before actually before i came out on the road i was a very serious road cyclist i i had a uh, very high-end road bike uh, i used to ride if if it was raining you know if it, as long as it wasn't pouring and the wind was you know gale force winds i'd go i'd ride just water yeah, and I want you to know this isn't an idea that just popped into our head yesterday. We've actually had this idea for over a year, but we knew we couldn't do it while Mango was with us. And if you don't know, Mango is our elderly dog that we just lost a few months ago. You know, now that we're... Empty nesters. <laughs> we're empty nesters. <laughs> yeah. We can do this. We can park the camper. We haven't heard of anyone e-biking across the country. We don't know if we're the first or not. We did meet somebody e-biking from Seattle to San Diego. And we know people who've, who've biked, you know, not e-biked, but biked across the country. So when I was in the Army, I had a dream of when I got out, I was going to ride across uh, the U.S. on a motorcycle. It never happened, but this is, to me, this would be a, even better because I'd be go we'd be going slow enough that I could really just enjoy what we have here in the U.S. And, and, and so this is a big deal for me. Here's a story. You know, the e-bike e industry is a lot like, or at least to me, is a lot like the early years, what I've read about the early years of the auto industry. In the old days, uh, car companies would do these publicity trips where the somebody would drive it from say Chicago to New York City and um, these those would be big drives and we're talking turn of the century 1901 1902 there were no roads the, the way we have them today but we are thinking like two and a half months to 75 days I think is what we're thinking did we say 75 days 75 days no no, it's not going to be 75 days. Not going to, I mean, if, if 70 miles a day is... But we're is, not going to do 70 miles. We're going to do like 50 miles a day. We're going to do more than 50 miles you a think? day. You think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we got a lot to figure out. Yeah. <laughs> now, if we do this, we're going to align with a charity so we can raise money for a good cause. We've already picked out the charity, something we think will resonate with a lot of people. So stay tuned for details. And don't worry, we'll still be bringing you plenty of videos about RV life. We really just want to meet you, promote e-biking, and, you know, and share with you the e-bike the e experience. Yeah, I mean, we love it, and that's why we talk about it so much. Yeah, e-bikes are game changers. Oh, they, really they really are. are. I mean, if you really have are. not ridden a bike for decades, um, getting on an e-bike takes all the <laughs> bad things of regular biking, makes it all go away. We just yeah. love it. I mean, you can go along for the ride. I I don't ever do this, but but you could just you could just hit the throttle and 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 ride it like a moped if you want. But um, but that but, really makes Paul uh, it gets <laughs> under his skin. He doesn't like that. He says, "Why don't you just get a moped?" Right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's one of my pet peeves. If you're on a if you're on a bicycle, you you should be turning the turning the pedals, turning the cranks. But you know, it's just me. So.
do what you want out there. I mean, <laughs> He's not going to police you if you're just using the throttle. Yeah, yeah. But we don't. We're yeah, I, might, I might glare at you, but that's uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear in the comment section what you guys think and uh, tell us we're nuts. We already know that, so <laughs> you're not telling us anything we don't know. Well, how inspiring would, would it be to see a couple of a couple of nuts just biking across the country? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you'll be placing bets. Will they make it or not? Yeah. <laughs> Sure you're ready for this?